Okay. Yeah, well, the conference, uh, Buddhism in Dialogue with Contemporary Societies, was actually inspired by the Foundation for Buddhist Studies, the board members of that foundation here based in Hamburg. And um, they have usually this idea of encouraging the dialogue between academics and practitioners of Buddhism, you know, to enrich each other. So um, the idea came up from the Foundation for Buddhist Studies and then um, we looked for cooperation partners who would be willing to finance this conference. And then uh, when I received this uh, new post at the University of Hamburg in February 2018, uh, then I took on the responsibility to organize the conference. And um, so it's organized by the Academy of World Religions in cooperation with the Numata Center for Buddhist Studies. And we invited uh, 20 um, leading uh, scholars of Buddhism uh, to come to Hamburg. And uh, we left it completely open to them to share with us from their decades of, um, well, how to say, um, knowledge and engagement with Buddhism and Buddhist studies, uh, that they should I mean, tell us what they feel is most important to study when you engage with Buddhism. And uh, the focus was on which impulses uh, could come from Buddhism for a contemporary society here in the West, especially in Europe. Uh, so if we would, for example, put up an interdisciplinary course on Buddhism and dialogue, uh, what would be really worthwhile to look into in more depth? So uh, this was the basic idea for having this conference. And um, yeah, so now uh, we had this wonderful conference and for three days and uh, we had about five different panels um, with four speakers each. So one was mainly on interreligious dialogue and then the second was on philosophy and applied ethics. Then we had another one on ethics and meditation and then uh, the fourth was on impulses for secular domains on mindfulness, psychotherapy, education, pastoral care, medical applications, and the fifth on engaged Buddhism contemporary issues. So um, one of the major outcomes of the conference, uh, which, I mean, came as a surprise to me actually uh, too, was uh, that uh, especially on the panel dealing with education, um, it became very clear from what we learned from other countries in Europe, especially from the Netherlands, that it's important to have chaplain courses nowadays, uh, so pastoral care or ch uh, uh, chaplain courses, because there are many people who need uh, caring and um, you need a good um, yeah, uh, training for them. And the question is where to do the training. And for example, if you go to a hospital or to a prison and you have to um, care for the people, uh, you never know before which tradition of Buddhism they belong to. Or they may just know, uh, say, well, uh, I'm a Buddhist, you know. And so it's important to have a training for them, uh, which considers the different traditions of Buddhism. And uh, if you send people for such kind of training to the Buddhist centers in Europe, then they will only learn about one tradition, but not about all the traditions. So it's much better if it is um, organized within the universities, as they have done in Amsterdam, for example. So this was one of the ideas coming up and which was strongly supported by all the scholars that we should uh, try to have something similar as they are doing it for six years now in the Netherlands. And then also the question came up that uh, how to do a kind of Buddhist theology study so that um, people can also become Buddhist teachers here in the West uh, to uh, teach Buddhism uh, also within the Buddhist communities. And uh, so there, this would need a cooperation between the university and the practitioners also, the communities, the religious communities, as we have it already in Islamic religion, in Alevi religion, for sure in Christian, Protestant and Catholic religion. So uh, whether we could have something comparable here in Germany too. So this was 
discussed and very much supported by all of the participants and now we have to see whether we have the possibility to put this into practice. <laughs> so people who couldn't attend the conference, I mean we had participants, about 200 participants from 16, 17 uh, nations worldwide. But those who couldn't participate have uh, fortunately the possibility to watch the videos uh, that have been recorded by lecture to go at the University of Hamburg, so they can watch for free. So you're most welcome to uh, yeah, listen to the talks and uh, listen to the discussions. And then afterwards, uh, I think next year, hopefully, we will publish uh, the book with the full papers of, uh, yeah, that have been delivered for the kind of conference. Well, I, I think, you know, if you uh, want to keep in touch, best is to just apply for the newsletters of the Academy of World Religions and the Numata Center for Buddhist Studies at the University of Hamburg. And for sure, when the material is available, we will let you know. So the participants of the conference will know anyway, we will inform them. But if you don't have this, it's just good to either register for the newsletter or to check the websites from time to time and then you will find. <laughs>